Rafael sent me out this kit to review for you guys and do a video build series, so let's start with the unboxing and then after this video we will start with the build series. If you've built one of these Revell Mustangs before from the 05 up to the 2012 or even the 13 versions, then you might already know that the engines on these and the chassis are pretty much the same. Now in this case, since it's not the stock V8 but the GT500 V8, it's a bit different than the other ones, so it's nice to have a closer look at that. So for instance on this one the valve covers seem to be a lot different than the stock V8 and there's also a couple more belts and tensioners on here. And then we move on to the chassis portion of the components and those are to my eye pretty much the same as the other kits. Same goes for most of the engine bay compartment, um, although there are a couple of different things like the air intake, and in this case you can also see that the disc brakes on the front are a bit bigger than the usual uh, 5.0. And then this crew is pretty much the same as all the other ones, the same firewall, the same rear disc brakes, and the same exhaust system. And just like all the other parts, they are nicely detailed and look very crisp. Moving over from the chassis to the interior, you can see that the interior tub and engine bay are molded in one piece. Now this section of course needs to be painted in the body color, and this section does not. Now it's not a big deal as it's easily masked off, however it would have been nice if these were two components. The interior on this one is also very nicely detailed, as you can see it's a super crisp dash with a nice big display, radio and all the various details and buttons on there. Same goes for the steering wheel, also has a lot of nice details and the center console as well. The front seats are molded in two parts, a rear part and a front part, and both of them have nice details just like all the other parts. And of course this one also has the GT500 stitch pattern in here with some of the stripes as you can see them. There are decals included but you could of course also paint them in your own custom color. There is one small sprue for some of the chrome parts like the headlight buckets, the wheels and some various bits around the body. Um, the chrome is not that great, it's a bit shiny, uh, not really to my taste. Most of it will probably be stripped and other parts will be painted over. However, the details that are on here are super nice again. And then you have a sprue with clear parts as well. Nice and clear as you are expecting, uh, with a couple of details for the lights in them as well, and a nice thick outline for the black edge that needs to be painted on the windscreen and also the rear window. The bumpers come molded in a separate sprue along with some of the mesh grills and the inlets and even the splitter for on the front. Now they are molded in red which is a big no-no for me as if you want to paint it in one of a brighter color like white, yellow or anything in that era 
it's really hard to do as this red plastic will probably bleed through the paint and make it look horrible. Now there are probably a lot of products on the market that can stop this, however I've not really found one that works really great, so for me this is still a big letdown. Now I'm not going to be painting it in red and therefore it will be a bit harder, but we'll see during the build which color I chose. So of course with the bumpers and the hood molded in red, the body is also molded in red. Now this of course has a reason as these are also for kids and kids are uh, aren't really capable of painting these firsthand or uh, the first kit you build. So in that case it's a lot easier to already have it in a cool color and therefore I do think it's a good thing. But for the enthusiast modeler, it's not that great. However, the details on here are super nice. Again, all of the panel lines are nice and crisp and clean, and it doesn't really need any cleanup whatsoever. And as usual, there is also a nice decal sheet as normal with the Revell kits of a super high quality. It has a lot of different license plates, various different logos, emblems, and other detail stuff to add around the interior and exterior to make it look extremely nice. I forgot to show the tires. These are also nice, have a good thread pattern on the tire themselves. Also have a pretty big sidewall. Now I think this is kind of okay as the stock cars also seem to have a pretty big sidewall and a bit of smaller tire or just a bigger overall setup. It's not my preferred set of wheels and also not my preferred set of tires, so I probably won't be using these, but if you were going to be building this kit stock out of the box, they don't look too bad.